uh, lange sh- shat dwellers, right? So, uh, residents in Mitchell's Plain picketed earlier this week uh, at the intersections of Drexgerville and Highlands right, to protest against those proposed plans to relocate the lange shack dwellers um, into land adjacent to the Mitchell's Plain area. Um, tell us a bit more about what the residents' concerns are uh, and, and considering that there's already um, a, a, a settlement there, which is the Sakalo settlement, which is also uh, opposite uh, that intersection there. Tell us a bit more about that. Well, I'm concerned with the obvious ones. It's about the pure logistics of it and the lack of planning. It's about the infrastructure that needs to go into this, this relocation and where's the money going to come from. It's the question as to what impact this is going to have on our lives here in Mitchell's thing. Or really we have to deal with informal settlements like Samora Michelle to our right, like Sicalo to our left, like Wolver is to the east. And can you just put in further into Mitchell's thing to the west? We are being surrounded here, and the simple question we're asking is, if they must be relocated, why must they be here? I would ask the people of Constantia, of Berkeley, of Tableview, of Sunset Beach, would you be in favor of this relocation on your doorstep? Knowing that when the promises made to these people are broken, that stones, burning tires, and petrol bombs will be hurled towards your vehicles with your loved ones, with your loved ones in it. Are we not entitled to being upset about this? To our lives and our opinions not matter. This is pure and utter madness. And, and the sad part of it is that when this relocation would go to Sub Council 17, where I was a member of at the time when I was still serving in the council, mm-hmm. it was brought to us as a decision. And any member of Sub Council 17 can tell you that. PRASA, the Western Cape Provincial Administration, the HDA, came to this, to this meeting with a decision and they had the balls to tell us that they've already they've already interacted with Langa. And I was the one who put up my hand and said, hold on a second. You go to the beneficiaries and then come and inform the host community. How does this work? So this invocation is madness and it cannot go ahead. The people of Mitchell's Plain have rejected it out of hand. Sub-Council 17, with the exception of the ANC and the EFF, have rejected it out of hand. And still, they are telling us not go to arbitration. I would like to know, from the Democratic Alliance and City of Cape Town, from the Western Cape Provincial Administration, if they can show us any decision that has ever been made by any sub-council that is not coloured, where that decision has been overrided, like we plan to do here.